Hey, did you know that gin lovers are all massive psychopaths? According to psychology experts, those who drink gin and tonics are more likely to have psychopathic tendencies. <laughs> but wait, what's the evidence to back up this claim? Is it solid evidence? And does the evidence allow these psychology experts to make such bold claims? Thinking critically about what we see in the media is more important than ever. And the media love reporting on psychology research. Some of the claims they report are valid, but a substantial portion are gross misrepresentations of scientific research. They're misleading because the journalist doesn't know what they can and cannot conclude based on research evidence. They're willfully misleading clickbait. Or the claims are misleading because the journalist ignores pattern and parsimony, reporting a single study taken out of context without looking at the broader literature. Psych 216 is designed to help students think critically about research claims presented in the media. Throughout the course, students learn about psychology's research methods by exploring media reports of psychological research, including podcasts, news articles, and other multimedia. Psych 216 is specifically designed for non-majors, with the goal of teaching students to be good consumers of psychological research. Psych 217 is designed to teach psych majors how to be good producers of psychological research. Psych 216 was designed from the top down. Each assessment and learning activity is tied to a specific course level learning outcome. While the workload and assessments reflect the fact that the course is specifically for non-majors, Psych 216 still covers many of the same concepts as Psych 217. Much of the learning is done in class. Lecture periods include plenty of opportunity to apply course concepts both individually and in semester-based teams. Students are also required to engage via the online discussion platform Piazza. The major assignment is a popular science project where students apply course concepts to real research. The assignment asks students to translate original scientific studies for a lay audience, giving them the opportunity to explore digital literacy and their own creativity. Research methods as a course title might sound boring, but this course gives students the skills and the tools to think critically about how the media treats science. And that is a valuable lifelong skill that is anything but boring.